Today I'm going to share my process from one floor handstand push-up to five consistent increased range of motion handstand push-ups. So here's the earliest video I could find on my handstand push-up. I believe this is from three years ago, and I could do one or two handstand push-ups, but it was inconsistent. All the stars had to align, and I had to pray to the correct gods, and then it would happen. So my sessions were one to two handstand push-ups, uh, coupled with a pulling movement and the sessions would take anywhere from one hour, if I was having a good session, to two or three because of the inconsistency in my handstand push-up. Sometimes I was in the corner almost just pissed off uh, because I couldn't get the rep completely, uh, but I just pushed through it and tried to fix a little bit of things. So here are some details that I changed. So the first detail that I changed was my hand position. So before, I would keep my hands the same if I was just holding a handstand, which is uh, fairly narrow about my shoulder width, but I found after time, it's actually easier if you go a little bit wider than shoulder width. It helps me to control. The position. second one was to lean my weight towards my fingers. So as I was holding the handstand, I would actually push more into the fingertips and catch the balance more often. If I lean towards the palm during any point of the handstand push-up, that's when I would the usually The third fall and down. last point that I changed or technique that I changed was actually my breathing pattern. So as I'm in the handstand, I'm, I'm just holding the handstand and I'm about to come down to do the push-up. I will take a breath in through my stomach, so, and I will hold in, that, in, that, in the stomach too, so I'll brace the abs. This is called a Valsalva maneuver and it's used in powerlifting a lot for squats or deadlifts. And I find it really useful here to lock the pelvis in place and not allow that little bend and to squish all around the place. It allows you to keep a straight line, touch, and then as I come up is when I'll breathe out. So I breathe in hold, touch my head to the ground, and then breathe out. Now I don't have to do that anymore for the floor handstand push-up, but I still do it for the increased range of motion because I'm not as comfortable yet. Hello, Leopard. For a while when I got used to doing two handstand push-ups and I was getting pretty consistent, maybe seven out of 10 attempts I could get the two, uh, I started to increase to three or even four reps. Then after about six to three, uh, sorry, six weeks to 12 weeks, I got very consistent at that. Maybe eight out of 10 times I could do three or four. Then I started to increase the range of motion. So at first I just used a little platform, maybe this high. Then I increased it a little bit, little bit, little bit until I could hit my chest to the ground. So nice. Come and then on, lastly, good. when I could hit my chest to the, to the box or to the platform, I was doing about three reps uh, for sets. If I couldn't do three, then I would go back to the floor or go back to an easier range of motion. Uh, and then I worked up slowly over months and months to get to four and then eventually five, which you just saw today. Uh, today is probably my first time in maybe six months of successfully doing the five because uh, I took away from the strength training and focused more on my wushu, my, uh, more on my locomotion. So some of the strength went away, but I can get it very back very quickly, which I just did now.
my process. There's a lot of other technical things that you can add to it. There's a lot of steps in between. Just know it takes a long time and it can be a frustrating journey. Um, but I would say number one, make sure you have the strength. So if you can't do five handstand push-ups the, on the wall, then how are you gonna do one without the wall? It's much, it's much more difficult. Take care of strength first, then go to uh, using, um, using the technique. Uh, so that's the video. If you have a question, put it in the comments down below. I always try to respond as quickly as possible. Um, if you want to continue to watch these type of videos, subscribe for more videos. And if you want to support me, you can support me from my Patreon in my description. And if you want to do any type of online coaching, you can contact me via email, which is also in the description. And that's the session. Okay, I have a, I have a secret video for you guys that stay after the ending what do I call that? Ending credits. Okay. <laughs> Just as an experiment and to see uh, kind of how many I can do, I'm gonna do floor handstand push up and see how many I can do. No tempo. Just make sure I hit my head to the ground and I lock out of the top and I'm in a balanced position. Uh, this is after my bent arm strength, so I'm a little fatigued, but I'm just interested to see. My goal would be maybe if I could hit 10 would be cool. I've never done 10 before. So close. 